what is up everybody and welcome back to my channel you're probably looking at the title and you're probably just confused you know like it's not Halloween yet and you could even be one of those people that's like justice for Thanksgiving decor and you're just probably like what are you doing well today's video is a Christmas decor shop with me listen I know that you're probably like it's October Katie it's just October listen I get it but hear me out the decor is already out and I want to shop it. I saw it in one of my last Shop With Me videos and I know that the store I'm about to go into right now is filled with Christmas decor to the brim. So I'm going to show it to you today. Because listen, early bird gets the worm. This store is the early bird and I am the worm. Listen guys, I'm a sucker for Christmas. If you've been around for a while, you definitely know that. So that's what today's video is. It's a Christmas decor shop with me, and I am so excited. We're gonna head into the store. Just so I could get in the mood, I got my peppermint cold brew. So I just get a venti cold brew with three pumps of peppermint and then sweet cream on the inside. You can also do the sweet cream foam if you're into that sort of thing, but I wanted to get in the festive mood. I wanted to get the peppermint rolling through my bloodstream. So we're gonna go inside and we're gonna see what we can find. So let's head inside to the store and let's just see what we can find. I can't wait to show you what they have. I hope they have a lot of really, really cute stuff, but I also hope that they don't because my wallet. So let's just head inside and see what we find. Okay, you guys, we have made it. We are inside Hobby Lobby and they have so many aisles of Christmas decor. Oh my gosh, I have so much stuff I need to show you guys. Oh my gosh, I wanted to start with like the trees behind me, which is my most favorite piece of Christmas decor. You can decorate it different every year. I'm already getting ideas about what I want to decorate my Christmas tree like this year. I might even get a new Christmas tree. Oh my gosh, I just, I'm so excited. I can't say for sure if Hobby Lobby has the best deals or the best Christmas trees, but they have a really, really good selection. I just don't feel confident saying that because I don't feel like I've compared them enough. But I am confident enough to say that they have the biggest Christmas ornament selection. Any color, any finish, sparkly, matte, satin, glass, plastic, any shape, any theme you want to do. They have hundreds of ornaments for every single theme. They definitely have the best 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 Christmas ornament and Christmas decoration selection. They even have all the Christmas aisles broken up into different like color palettes. So behind me is silver, then there's all the red, and then this way is like all the rainbow. It's insane. Like the organization just would make any home edit fan just their heart flutter. Personally with Christmas decor, I struggle a little bit because I'm very like traditional. I want red and green everywhere. But then like the home decor side of me, like when I think about what I want my home to feel like and be like at Christmas time, I still want it to be very like calm and neutral and a little bit bohemian. So I just struggle a lot because what I want for my Christmas decor is so different than what I would want for like my normal home decor. And I feel like I struggle with that for every holiday because Easter is a lot of pastels and then Halloween is like black and orange. So it's just super hard. Okay, perusing in the stocking aisle and I found something so cute. Hobby Lobby's definitely not leaving anyone out of the holidays. They have really, really cute pet stockings. I really, really like these ones for our dogs maybe. They're just like bone shaped, oh my gosh. Or also like these ones are really, really cute. How are we supposed to choose? Okay, we're currently in an aisle that I went a little bit crazy in last year. If you don't remember my tree, I'll go ahead and post a picture of it here. It had a million little add-ons in it, 
that was so nice and fun like when I was putting it together and like putting my tree like putting all the ornaments and decorations on it but taking it apart was literally a nightmare. I had about 500 of these pine cone cranberry sprigs stuck in it as well as a million other cranberry sprigs from down there and I'm having a little bit of PTSD just thinking about it. But is my tree gonna be as extra if not more extra this year? Yep. Walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where, don't know how. Lately, I've come. To okay, this aisle is really making my heart so happy because I really want to decorate the outside of Brian's house for Christmas, specifically this wreath. I really want to try to give you an idea of how big it actually is. It's about like five by five feet it's huge and Brian has a huge space above the garage like where the roof meets the garage door that would be perfect for this wreath but I want to try to show you how big it is That was so awkward. Oh, the things I do and put it on the internet for YouTube. I texted Brian and he's actually on board with this as well. So it's 160 bucks, but they're actually having a 50% off sale right now. And they'll probably continue that until Christmas comes and then it will be like 40% off. For whatever reason, they seem to do that. Like pre-season stuff will be 50 or 60% off. And then when the season comes, they just put it down to 40. But they have crazy sales every week here. Um, like every other week, it's different stuff. So definitely check out the sales. You can look at their online catalog. They also have all the same products online. Obviously it's more fun to shop in the store, but I know that not everybody has Hobby Lobbies where they are. Like up north where I'm from, we only have one and it's in New Hampshire and I'm from Massachusetts. So it's definitely a bit of a drive, but definitely check out either the Hobby Lobby stores or online. And no, I'm not working with them, but I kind of wish that I was. Okay, I'm obsessed with everything in this aisle. I am honestly like, I might start sweating. Like that's how pretty everything is. They have these like, fluffy presents like what is this like hey Hedwig how are you and I'm not really like a big sparkle person but like I showed you in my last video I love mercury glass so I think that those are really really pretty we also just have some really really pretty signs and everything is just so like neutral and gorgeous I just am obsessed hey Siri how many days until Christmas it's 72 days until then 72 days until then, which means we need to fix this so that the people know 72 72 days until then. Oh my god, this beautiful Christmas decor spanned to the other side of the aisle. I'm dying. Look at this stuff I'm just obsessed like I want to put these little wooden snowflakes all over my entire house because it's the closest I'm gonna get to snow here in Florida. I really, really like these pillows and this is nice too because this actually has a pillow cover that you can take off and wash. I don't know about you guys, but I have pets, so being able to take pillow covers off and wash them is an absolute must or it's honestly just a waste of money because I'm gonna have to end up throwing the pillow away when one of the dogs like chews a bone on it and gets it all sticky and gross so that one's nice and I recommend only buying throw pillows that have pillow covers with a zipper that you can wash the covers this pillow is really 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 cute too and it has the pom-poms okay I absolutely love that as well these wooden trees kept catching my eye too and I love them mixed with like the sparkly green trees I just love the contrast Personally, it's not my thing, but here's a shot for all you Buffalo check lovers out there. See, this is what I mean. Like, this is what I love and like what my heart says to do, but this is what my house says to do because it's just so much more aesthetically pleasing. So I feel like when I have kids, I'll lean more towards this maybe, but for now, this is the vibe. Okay, I'm in love with this. This is really, really cute for a coffee bar. In the winter, you can turn it into a cocoa bar, and I definitely think that's something I'm gonna do this year. This type of decor could be seen as a good mix for my problem, but I don't know, I'm just vibing with the other stuff more. Oh my gosh, fake plant moms unite. There's so much cool stuff in here, and the best part, that none of it can ever die, and you can use it for years and years and years and years and years, and you get your money's worth. 
These are really, really cool too. And it looks like they light up, I think. Let's see if it works. Oh, yeah, those are pretty. I like that a lot. Okay, I just rounded the corner into a new aisle. It all looks so pretty. This is the first gnome that I've seen since I've been here. I am obsessed with gnomes, especially these plushy ones. I really like that a lot. And it would end up being seven bucks after the 50% off, which I think is a great deal. I think this is really, really cool. And I wanted to show you guys, it's like a galvanized metal wreath. That is so cool and different. I've never seen anything like that before. I also wanted to mention when you're trying to like decorate a whole space or a really concentrated space you need to buy all the little things like this like the little animals and the snowflakes and the tiny tiny trees like just grab a bunch of this stuff and then return what you don't need because most people don't realize how much stuff you need to decorate those spaces like you want to fill in all the little spaces and make it look totally perfect and you'd rather have too much stuff than not enough so that's my tip okay something else that i found that's just really really cool is it's like a yarn tree almost like a yarn tapestry tree oh my gosh i'm in love with this and i like this tree that's next to it and then i also saw over here that caught my eye another like galvanized metal wreath but this one is green oh my gosh those are really really cool i also do love all these little houses like i just mentioned like to fill in the space this stuff is perfect if you want to do like white houses you can they have some from the target dollar spot or you can do the galvanized metal ones whatever is your preference i found more gnomes these ones are more traditional and they're really really cute i like these ones a lot and these are cool too because you can actually like manipulate their hats. They have a wire on the inside so you can bend them however you like. Another thing I haven't mentioned that they do have is all stuff that is more like religious based. So they have like stuff for like making a manger and then more just like religious centered Christmas decor because Originally, I guess that was the reason for the season. So they have all that stuff too. So they have like signs and then like Oh Holy Night lyrics and different ones with like Bible verses. And then they have like this Christmas counter and just all of this stuff. So I wanted to go ahead and show this as well because I know that this is stuff that other people are specifically shopping for. This is so nice and would be so nice like on your front porch if that is what you're looking to add to your Christmas decor. This is really, really nice and seems like nice quality wood as well. I know before I showed you all the plain wreaths, but they also do have pre-decorated wreaths. They have a really, really good like fake decorated plant section at Hobby Lobby in general, not even just for the holidays. So I wanted to go ahead and show you those. Oh my gosh. When I have kids, it is so on. I'm gonna have all this stuff in the front yard. For Santa to come and find our house so that he can bring presents to my future children and I just can't wait like I'm just dying for that phase of life it's just always been my dream to have a big family and just have kids and I can't wait to build my own Christmas traditions with my own kids <sighs> I'm just so excited and so ready for that day someday not anytime soon was the night before Christmas I was closing down for business In my little prison shop When the bell on the door Jingled once more And then time almost came to a stop but somehow I knew, and maybe so did you, that everything would change from now on. Yes, from this Christmas on, this Christmas on.
Okay, these are really, really cool and cute. These are something that you can put outside of your house and then like your kids or if someone was walking in the neighborhood like admiring Christmas decorations, if you were doing an interactive Christmas decoration setup, they could come behind and put their face in and then take pictures. Okay, this just warms my heart because this is exactly how I picture Santa Claus. I feel like this was like the first style of drawing that I ever saw him as and it just really warms my heart with like his red nose and his rosy cheeks and he just looks so jolly and Oh my gosh, I just love Christmas so much. They also have an awesome selection for Christmas crafts. So things you wanna do with your kids or with your spouse or first Christmas or whatever it is. I don't know, I always get tons of ideas about stuff like this because I just love arts and crafts and this sort of stuff. But I just wanna show you guys what they have because they have some really, really fun stuff and it's also all 50% off. So, I mean, it'd be worth a shot just to come and see what they have. So they actually have these little like ornaments that you can paint yourself, all different shapes. Some of them even come with the paint already, whereas some of them you can pick your own paint colors. But they have like a little snowman. They also have a little nutcracker. Tons of really cute stuff. And then over here, they have the clear ornaments. So you could put whatever you want inside of these. You could put like glitter inside or you could do like paint mixed with water and make them any unique color if you're unable to find the color that you want. Another idea that I've always seen is, let's say you're getting married. Um, after you get married, you could always like cut up your wedding vows or cut up an invitation and put it inside or your save the date and then that's kind of like how you keep that little memory forever. These are the sorts of little glitter things that you could put inside the clear ones too if you want or you could just roll that snowman in some glue and stick glitter all over it. Whatever you wanna do, I support you. Here's a bunch more ones that you can paint. Like, I just feel like kids would love this, like especially my nieces and nephews. They have ones where you can put a picture inside. Growing up, our tree was covered in like homemade decorations that we made in preschool like my entire life, even like to this day. It was never like a professional tree. Our tree was kid friendly and it had like colored lights and everything which I love But my trees always have white lights these days, but maybe when I have kids it'll change or I'll probably just have like a million Christmas trees by then I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Alrighty you guys that is it for today's video I really hope you enjoyed seeing the shop with me Christmas decor I know it's a little bit early But I know that you guys love Christmas just as much as I do or else you wouldn't be here So if you want to see more Christmas decor shop with me videos, trust me There's a lot more to come There's a lot more Christmas decor out there for me to go and shop and show you guys So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I cannot wait to see you guys next time. Bye